the cogitating ceviche pre, since, the challenge of distance, estimating the proximity of intelligent life in the Milky Way, by Conrad Hannon, narration by Amazon Pali. Introduction For centuries, humanity has gazed at the stars, wondering if we are alone in the vast expanse of the universe. This curiosity has driven scientific endeavors, technological advancements, and captured the imaginations of people across the globe. As our understanding of the cosmos grows and our technological capabilities expand, we find ourselves increasingly equipped to explore the possibility of extraterrestrial intelligence. However, the sheer enormity of space presents a formidable obstacle in this quest. Recent scientific models and calculations have provided intriguing estimates about the potential proximity of intelligent life in our galaxy. These estimates suggest that the average distance between stars hosting intelligent civilizations in the Milky Way could range from 44 to 215 light years. While these distances might seem relatively small when considering the galaxy's immense size, spanning approximately 100,000 light years in diameter, they represent an enormous challenge for our current detection capabilities. This article delves into the complexities of this estimation, exploring how scientists arrive at these figures, the limitations of our current technology in detecting signals from these hypothetical civilizations, and the future prospects of our search for cosmic companions. We will examine the factors that influence the likelihood of intelligent life emerging, the challenges posed by vast interstellar distances, and the cutting-edge technologies that may one day bridge the gap between Earth and potential extraterrestrial neighbors. Section 1. How the 44 to 215 light-year estimate was derived. The importance of habitability. The search for extraterrestrial intelligence begins with understanding the conditions necessary for life as we know it to emerge and thrive. Recent advancements in exoplanet detection, primarily through missions like NASA's Kepler Space Telescope and the Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite TESS, have revolutionized our understanding of planetary systems beyond our own. These missions have revealed that a significant percentage of stars in the Milky Way harbor planets orbiting within their habitable zone. This region, often referred to as the Goldilocks Zone, represents the area around a star where conditions might be just right for liquid water to exist on a planet's surface. Liquid water is considered a fundamental requirement for life as we understand it, making these habitable zone planets prime candidates in the search for extraterrestrial life. Current estimates suggest that as many as 10 billion Earth-like planets could exist within the habitable zones of stars across our galaxy. This staggering number provides a fertile ground for the potential emergence of life. However, it's crucial to note that the presence of a planet in a habitable zone doesn't guarantee the development of life, let alone intelligent life. The progression from a habitable planet to one hosting an intelligent, technologically advanced civilization depends on a multitude of factors. These include the planet's specific chemical composition, the stability of its star system, the presence of a protective magnetic field, and countless other variables that we are only beginning to understand. Even when considering these probabilities optimistically, the number of planets hosting intelligent life in the Milky Way is likely to be significantly smaller than the number of potentially habitable planets. The Drake Equation the Drake Equation often takes center stage in discussions about the possibility of extraterrestrial intelligence. Formulated by astronomer Frank Drake in 1961, this equation provides a framework for estimating the number of civilizations in our galaxy capable of communicating across interstellar distances. The Drake Equation incorporates several key factors. 1. R. The average rate of star formation in our galaxy. 2. F. P the fraction of those stars that have planetary systems. 3. In underscore, the number of planets per solar system with an environment suitable for life. 4. F underscore L, the fraction of suitable planets on which life actually appears. 5. F underscore, the fraction of life-bearing planets on which intelligent life emerges. 6. F underscore the fraction of civilizations that develop a technology that releases detectable signs of their existence into space. 7. L. The length of time for which such civilizations release detectable signals into space. When applied with optimistic values, the Drake equation suggests that thousands of intelligent civilizations could be in the Milky Way. 
More conservative estimates place that number significantly lower, accounting for the many uncertainties involved. This range of possibilities leads to the estimated average distances between civilizations of 44 to 215 light years. Galactic distribution. An often overlooked aspect of this calculation is the non uniform distribution of stars within the Milky Way. Our galaxy is not a homogeneous disk of evenly spaced stars, but a complex structure with varying stellar densities across different regions. The galactic core, for instance, is densely packed with stars, while the outer regions are more sparsely populated. This variation in stellar density directly affects the potential for nearby intelligent civilizations. However, the likelihood of intelligent life emerging doesn't solely depend on the number of stars in a given region. Proximity to the galactic core, while offering a higher concentration of stars, also comes with increased challenges. The core region experiences higher radiation levels and more frequent gravitational disturbances, factors that could make it more difficult for life to emerge and sustain itself over long periods. Civilizations in the galactic disk, where our sun resides, are thought to have a better chance of developing and thriving. This region offers a balance between stellar density and environmental stability, providing more favorable conditions for the long-term evolution of life. These considerations of galactic structure and habitability zones contribute to the complexity of estimating the distances between intelligent civilizations. The 44 to 215 light-year range represents an average across the varied landscape of our galaxy, acknowledging both the promise of numerous habitable planets and the challenges inherent in the emergence of intelligent life. Section 2. The Challenges of Detecting Intelligent Life at These Distances Signal Degradation Over Distance The fundamental challenge in detecting signals from distant civilizations lies in the nature of electromagnetic waves and how they propagate through space. As these waves travel across vast distances, they inevitably weaken, making detection increasingly difficult the further they travel from their source. This phenomenon, known as signal degradation, is governed by the inverse square law. According to this principle, the intensity of a signal decreases proportionally to the square of the distance it has traveled. To put this into perspective, consider a hypothetical signal broadcast from a civilization 100 light years away. By the time this signal reaches Earth, it would be one tenth, oh, 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 as strong as it was when it left its source. The implications of this law are profound when we consider the estimated distances between intelligent civilizations. Even at the lower end of our range, 44 light years, a signal would be significantly weakened by the time it reached us. The degradation would be even more severe at the upper end of 215 light years, making detection exponentially more challenging. This degradation affects all types of electromagnetic signals, including radio waves, which have long been the focus of our search for extraterrestrial intelligence. The Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence, SETI Institute, a pioneer in this field, uses powerful radio telescopes to scan the skies for potential signals. However, given the expected distances involved, detecting a weak or unintentional signal from an extraterrestrial civilization becomes incredibly difficult. Earth-based technology, like that used by SETI, has only a limited range for detecting weak, non-targeted signals. The chances of stumbling upon such a signal from across these vast distances are slim, akin to finding a whisper in a hurricane. This reality underscores scientists' monumental task in their quest to detect signs of intelligent life in our cosmic neighborhood. Energy Requirements for Detection For a signal to remain detectable over the vast distances we're considering, it must be either incredibly powerful or deliberately targeted at Earth. To understand the scale of this challenge, we can look at our planet's history of electromagnetic emissions. Earth has been leaking signals into space for just over a century, primarily in the form of radio and television transmissions. However, these signals degrade quickly as they travel through space. An observer more than a few light years away would likely find these transmissions indistinguishable from background noise even with advanced technology. Now, consider the reverse scenario. For us to detect a similar signal from an extraterrestrial civilization 100 light years away, their technology would need to be exponentially more advanced than ours, capable of producing signals many orders of magnitude stronger than we can currently generate. Alternatively, they would need to deliberately send strong, focused signals in our direction. 
The energy requirements for producing a detectable signal over these distances are staggering. To illustrate, the Arecibo message, one of the most powerful deliberate transmissions ever sent from Earth, used a million watt transmitter. Even this signal would be difficult to detect at a distance of 100 light years without incredibly sensitive equipment specifically looking for it. These energy considerations highlight a crucial point in the search for extraterrestrial intelligence. We're not just looking for any civilization, but one that has both the technological capability and the desire to communicate across interstellar distances. This narrows the field considerably, as we must assume that any civilization we detect would be significantly more advanced than our own, at least in terms of communication technology. Section 3. Current Technological Limits SETI's Capabilities The SETI Institute has been at the forefront of humanity's search for extraterrestrial intelligence for decades. Their approach primarily involves using radio telescopes to scan the skies for signals that could indicate advanced civilizations. These efforts rely on highly sensitive radio receivers capable of detecting narrow bandwidth radio signals, the kind that might be used for long-distance communication between stars. SETI's most famous project, the Allen Telescope Array, ATA, consists of 42 radio antennas working in concert to survey the sky. This array is designed to detect signals across a wide range of frequencies, focusing particularly on those least affected by Earth's atmosphere and cosmic background noise. Despite scanning millions of stars and dedicating thousands of hours of telescope time, SETI has not yet detected a definitive signal from an extraterrestrial civilization. This lack of detection doesn't necessarily mean that no such civilizations exist. Rather, it highlights the immense challenges involved in this search. One significant limitation of current SETI efforts is the effective range of our detection capabilities. These radio receivers are most effective at detecting relatively nearby stars, often within a range of less than 100 light years. If intelligent civilizations exist farther away within the 44 to 215 light year range, SETI's current tools may not be sensitive enough to detect their signals unless they are deliberately aimed at us. Moreover, SETI's search is constrained by time and resources. The sky is vast, and we can only observe a small portion of it at any given time there's always the possibility that we might be looking in the wrong place at the wrong time, missing transient signals or brief attempts at communication. Optical SETI and Laser Detection While radio astronomy has been the primary focus of SETI efforts, researchers have also proposed alternative methods of detecting extraterrestrial intelligence. One such approach is optical SETI, which searches for brief, bright flashes of light that distant civilizations might use as beacons. The premise behind optical SETI is that advanced civilizations might use powerful lasers for interstellar communication. Lasers have several advantages over radio waves for this purpose. 1. They can be more tightly focused, potentially allowing them to maintain intensity over greater distances. 2. They can transmit data at higher rates than radio signals. 3. They stand out more clearly against the background light of stars. However, like radio signals, detecting laser pulses requires the signal to be specifically aimed at Earth. While this form of communication could be more effective over vast distances, there has been no confirmed detection of such signals to date. Several observatories around the world have incorporated optical SETI into their research programs. These include the Lick Observatory in California and the Automated Planet Finder at the University of California's Lick Observatory. Despite these efforts, the key challenge remains the same. The vast distances between stars make detecting any signal, radio, laser, or otherwise, an extraordinary feat of technological capability. Our current technology, while impressive, is still limited in its ability to detect weak signals over interstellar distances. Section 4. The Future of Interstellar Communication and Detection AI and Machine Learning as our search for extraterrestrial intelligence continues, researchers are increasingly turning to artificial intelligence AI and machine learning to assist in data analysis. The amount of data generated by projects like SETI and modern observatories is massive, often measured in petabytes. This volume of information presents both an opportunity and a challenge. While it increases our chances of detecting a signal, it also raises the risk that important information could be missed among the noise. 
AI and machine learning algorithms are particularly well-suited to handle this challenge. These technologies can process vast amounts of information more quickly and efficiently than humans, identifying patterns or anomalies that might otherwise go unnoticed. They can be trained to recognize specific types of signals or to flag unusual data for further investigation by human researchers. In 2020, researchers working with Breakthrough Listen, a large-scale SETI project, successfully used machine learning to detect 72 new fast radio bursts from a distant galaxy. While these bursts were later determined to be natural phenomena rather than signs of intelligent life, this success highlights the potential of AI to aid in the search for technosignatures and other signs of extraterrestrial civilizations. The application of AI in SETI is still in its early stages, but it holds enormous promise. As these algorithms become more sophisticated and are trained on larger datasets, they could potentially identify subtle patterns or signals that current methods might miss. This could dramatically increase our chances of detecting signs of intelligent life, even if those signs are weak or intermittent. The role of space-based detection. Another promising area for future exploration is space-based detection. While Earth-based telescopes and radio arrays have been the workhorses of SETI efforts to date, they face limitations due to Earth's atmosphere and radio interference from human activities. Space-based instruments can overcome these obstacles, potentially offering clearer and more sensitive observations. One of the most exciting developments in this area is the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, launched in December 2021. While JWST is designed primarily to study the formation of stars, galaxies, and planets, its advanced capabilities make it a powerful tool for exoplanet research. The telescope's ability to analyze exoplanet atmospheres in unprecedented detail could provide important clues about the habitability of distant worlds. JWST can detect the presence of various molecules in exoplanet atmospheres, including potential biosignatures such as oxygen, methane, or other chemicals that indicate the presence of life. While it may not be able to detect radio or laser signals directly, JWST could still contribute significantly to the search for life by identifying planets with the right conditions for life to exist. If a potentially habitable exoplanet is discovered within the 44 to 215 light year range, it could become a prime target for future SETI searches. This targeted approach could increase our chances of detecting signals from extraterrestrial civilizations, as we would be focusing our efforts on the most promising candidates. Looking further into the future, more ambitious space based projects have been proposed. These include concepts like large radio telescope arrays on the far side of the moon, shielded from Earth's radio noise, or even more exotic ideas like using the sun's gravitational lens as a cosmic magnifying glass to peer deeper into space. While many of these concepts are still in the realm of theory, they illustrate the potential for space based detection to revolutionize our search for extraterrestrial intelligence. As our technology advances and our presence in space grows, these ideas may move from science fiction to reality, dramatically expanding our ability to explore the cosmos and search for signs of intelligent life. Section 5. Conclusion. The Astronomical and Philosophical Challenge. The idea that intelligent civilizations might exist relatively close by, within 44 to 215 light years, is tantalizing and frustrating. On one hand, these distances are manageable in the context of the galaxy's vast size, spanning approximately 100,000 light years. The possibility that intelligent life could be flourishing just a few hundred light years away is profoundly exciting, hinting at a universe rich with diverse civilizations and cultures. On the other hand, the challenges of detecting faint signals over such distances, combined with the limitations of our current technology, make it unlikely that we will find conclusive evidence of extraterrestrial intelligence in the immediate future. The distances involved, while small on a galactic scale, are still enormous from the perspective of our current technological capabilities. This dichotomy encapsulates the heart of the Fermi paradox, named after physicist Enrico Fermi. The paradox highlights the apparent contradiction between the high probability of extraterrestrial life, given the vast number of stars and planets in the universe, and the lack of evidence for, or contact with, such civilizations. If intelligent life is relatively common, occurring every 44 to 215 light years on average, why haven't we detected it yet? Several explanations have been proposed for this paradox. 1. The 
great filter hypothesis suggests that some insurmountable obstacle might prevent life from advancing to the point where it can communicate across interstellar distances. Two. The <laughs> zoo hypothesis posits that advanced civilizations might intentionally avoid contact with Earth, perhaps to allow our civilization to develop naturally. 3. The rare Earth hypothesis argues that while simple life might be common, the conditions. 4. The young Earth scenario suggests that human civilization might be among the first to reach this level of development in our galaxy, and other civilizations simply haven't had time to evolve yet. Despite these challenges and uncertainties, the search for extraterrestrial intelligence continues. The quest to discover intelligent life isn't just about finding others, it is fundamentally about understanding the universe and our place within it. Each technological leap brings us closer to answering one of the biggest questions of all time. Are we alone? The implications of either answer are profound. If we are alone, or at least exceedingly rare, it would suggest that the emergence of intelligent life is an extraordinarily unlikely event. This would imbue our existence with a sense of cosmic significance and a great responsibility as perhaps the only beings capable of understanding and appreciating the universe. On the other hand, eventually detecting signs of extraterrestrial intelligence would revolutionize our understanding of life, the universe, and our place in it. It would open up new avenues of scientific inquiry and potentially lead to the exchange of knowledge and ideas on a cosmic scale. While we may not detect a civilization tomorrow or even in the next decade, the advancements in AI, improved observational tools, and deeper exploration of our own galaxy give reason for hope. Perhaps, when the time comes, we will be better equipped to bridge that 44 to 215 light-year distance and make contact with our cosmic neighbors. As we continue to refine our detection methods and push the boundaries of our technological capabilities, several key areas of development hold promise for the future. 1. Improved sensitivity. Next-generation radio telescopes and optical detectors will offer unprecedented sensitivity, allowing us to detect fainter signals from greater distances. 2. Broader spectrum analysis. Future searches will likely cover a wider range of the electromagnetic spectrum, including areas we haven't thoroughly explored yet. 3. Targeted searches. We can focus our search efforts on the most promising candidates as we identify more potentially habitable exoplanets. 4. Advanced signal processing. Continued AI and machine learning improvements will enhance our ability to identify potential signals amidst the cosmic noise. 5. Interstellar probes. While still in the realm of speculation, future technologies might allow us to send probes to nearby star systems, dramatically increasing our ability to detect signs of life. In conclusion, while the distances involved in the search for extraterrestrial intelligence are vast, they are not insurmountable. While daunting, the estimate of 44 to 215 light years between intelligent civilizations also offers hope. It suggests that if we can overcome the technological hurdles, we might one day make the greatest discovery in human history. We must remain patient, persistent, and open-minded as we continue our search. The universe has repeatedly surprised us with its complexity and wonder, and the search for extraterrestrial intelligence is likely to be no different. Whether we find a cosmos teeming with intelligent life, or a silent universe in which we are rare or unique, the journey of discovery will undoubtedly reshape our understanding of ourselves and our place in the universe. In the words of Carl Sagan, the universe is a pretty big place. If it's just us, seems like an awful waste of space. As we gaze at the stars and ponder the possibilities, we continue to reach out, listen, and search, driven by the timeless human desire to connect and understand. The 44 to 215 light years that potentially separate us from our nearest cosmic neighbors represent not just a distance to be crossed, but a challenge to be overcome, a mystery to be solved, and a future to be embraced. Thank you for your time today. Until next time, stay gruntled.